Hello everyone, Fred here with Card Dealer Pro, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to manually correct and fix matches if there either wasn't a match or we got it wrong. Now, Card Dealer Pro is over 95% accurate at matching your card to the database and getting it right the first time. However, there might be times where we don't find a match or we find the wrong parallel or something that needs to be corrected. Now the good news is, is these are really easy to correct and we give you tons of tools to identify this and correct it within the software and our software learns. So every time you fix a card, it gets better and better and more and more accurate. Now, one of the other cool features with Card Dealer Pro is that you get an email to let you know when your batch is done processing. So for this particular batch, we've got an email that tells us that two of our cards have been matched and one needs to be updated manually. So we're gonna go in and work on this batch and show you how to update those cards and change those matches. So I'm gonna click on the batches link and be brought to the batches page. And here's the batch we're gonna work on. I click on that batch to see all of the cards. Now right away, the one in the middle stands up. If we don't find a match, we highlight this in red and let you know that a manual search is required to fix them. So to start with, I'm gonna show you how to fix this card that didn't have a match. So let's go ahead and click on that card as you can see, there's no card details listed here because we didn't find a match for it in the database. To fix this, all we need to do is scroll down and click on search manually. I know this is a football card. It's a 2021 Panini Black. Number 37, Aaron Rodgers. So we pull all of those cards from the database. I also know that this happens to be the Emerald Parallel version. So we give you all of the parallels in addition. So type in the info you know, click on the card, and then we load in the rest of the details. So once I click on that, we now have all of the info about that card. We loaded in the name, the player, the card number, um, that it was serial numbered to 10, etc. So we have all of that information. Now all we have to do is click save, and those changes have been saved. Now if we go back and look at our batch again, we now see that we have the right information. Now, in addition to not finding a match, occasionally we might find the wrong match. So in this instance, we're gonna look at this Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Now, we matched this card to the database. However, we matched it to the tops version, and this one happens to be the OPG version. Now, at the top of the screen, it says there was nine matches found. Click here to view other matches. If we click that, we're brought further down the screen, which is just below the card details, and we list out all of the other matches that we found in our database. So since this is the Opeachy version, all I need to do is hover over this 1979 Opeachy, click on that, and then up on top, it's now reloaded in all of the information for the Opeachy version instead of the tops version. Simply click Save Changes, and that card has now been saved. So again, really easy to change it if we got the wrong match. And then the last scenario I'll show you, if we go back and look at that batch, is we have a card that we found a match for. We brought in all of the information for that card. However, we identified the wrong color parallel. We matched this one to the blue version. It happens to be pink. To change that, all we need to do is click on subset parallel. We get a drop down of all of the versions that it could be. I'm just gonna go ahead and click pink. I'm going to click save changes. And again, all of that information has now been updated about the card, saved and ready to go. So when we export this out for sale, we're gonna have that accurate. So again, we do our best to match these as accurately as possible. We're constantly getting better. And again, 99% of the time, you're gonna get the right match. However, when you don't, we wanna give you the tools to fix this because no visual search is perfect. Hopefully this was helpful and um, will help you to more rapidly fix and update those cards. You can also make those same changes manually by typing in, in spreadsheet view or in gallery view. Um, lots of different ways you can change them, but we try to give you tools to make it quick and easy. Now, there's tons of other features and lots of other how-to videos in our support page that runs you through how to use virtually everything in Card Dealer Pro. If you have any additional questions or we can do anything else to help, in the bottom right-hand corner is the support link Click that, fill out the form, and you can easily set up a one-on-one -on -one call with us to run through any issues you're having, to get a one-on-one -on -one demo and a screen share, or whatever else we can do to help you. We would also love your feedback and any feature ideas that you'd love to see built into the product. 
So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and happy collecting.